All right, we march on into Section 5.3. Section 5.3 deals with similarity, similar triangles in particular. So that's what we're going after. Uh, I have constructed two similar triangles here. We know that they are similar because, let's go back to our definition of similarity. If I have triangle A, B, C, similar to triangle D, E, F, if I have that, then I know that angle A is congruent to angle D, angle B is congruent to angle E, and angle C is congruent to angle F. That's what we mean to be, to have similar triangles. The angles in the one are congruent to corresponding angles in the other. That is not the way young people are taught to think about similar triangles. Young people are taught to think about similar triangles by, by learning that, here, let's, let's just get rid of these. Uh, they're taught to think that triangles are similar if the sides are in proportion. That, in fact, happens to be a true statement. It is true to say if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then AB to AC is DE to DF. It is totally true to say that. So, how do we do that? Well, basically, we bring this triangle over here so that that's D. There's some other point here that roughly corresponds to E, and there's some other point here that roughly corresponds to F. Now, by the parallel projection theorem from our last lesson, we know that this ratio to that one, I know I've got parallel lines, and I know I've got parallel lines because I've got this angle congruent to that one and this angle congruent to that one. That's why the similarity is necessary. I know I've got parallel lines here. And when parallel lines get cut, the ratio of red to green over here is the same as the ratio of red to green over here. So I know that DE is to DB as DF is to DC. But wait a second. BB is really AB and DC is really AC, and if those trade places, we end up with the thing we're looking for. So this is a direct consequence of the definition of similarity combined with the parallel projection theorem from our last time together. This is the way... This is the way most people think when they think similar triangles. They think in terms of ratios. In fact, in fact, it is a theorem that if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then there exists a positive real number R such that DE is R times AB and EF is R times BC and DF is R times AC. 
this is something I can ask you to prove in class. And so this will probably be something that I ask you to do. Now, mind you, we've talked about similar triangles. And similar triangles are those triangles where the three angles of one correspond to three angles in another. But there is such a thing, and it's actually being taught in high schools in New York State at this point, as side angle side similarity. Side angle side similarity says if I can get this ratio to work and I have that congruent, I'm good to go. If angle CAB is congruent to angle FDE and the ratio of the sides that come out of angle A is equal to the ratio of the sides that come out of angle D, then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. That actually holds in Euclidean geometry. It is the kind of thing that I would like to prove when we get to class. One thing to consider on that, okay, so let's make sure we've got this right. We've got triangle ABC and we have triangle DEF and this angle is congruent to this one and the ratio of these sides is the same as the ratio of those sides. I argue that that means that all three angles of the one must be congruent to their corresponding angles in the other. This is side angle side similarity. So there are questions to consider. Things like, does angle side angle similarity work? If I have two triangles and those angles match and those angles match and these are in proportion, is that enough? Does such a thing as side 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 similarity exist? If if this is true, does that mean that the triangles are similar? That's what side, side, side similarity would imply. Those are things to think about. We will bring them to class together. We will consider them together. Okay, so there you have it. That's your, that's your look at 5-3. And we need this because coming up, as soon as we can, is the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, cool. See you next time.